Hi guys, welcome back to another one of my YouTube videos. Um, as you can see, again, it is very, very hot in Manchester. The hair's been swept back. The shirt has been unbuttoned to a massive extent and the sleeves have been rolled up. Um, basically, it's still like 30 degrees down here. I can't actually believe it. It's like, it's one of those times where you think, oh, it's gonna end. It's like, I want some rain. It's like the summer has arrived and it is really good. I know it's like a typical British thing to do is like complain when it rains, complain when the sun is out. But it is very hot and sleeping in this is like really really hot i've been sleeping with my window open all the time and let me tell you it's it's very very hot in bed at night but to be honest that's everywhere even in the office at work hot we've got the aircon on thank god um but in bed in this flat it is it is hot just to check in the fridge still isn't working so i have internet now absolutely awesome thrilled still not got a tv but obviously i'm watching tv on my laptop with a TV license, definitely one of those. Um, no, TV license, obviously, buy it, we've got a van. Yeah, so the fridge isn't working, bit of a nightmare still, um, but I'm living day to day, it's it's quite all right, I'm I literally just two minutes away from a supermarket. I walk past loads of supermarkets every day, on, obviously on the way to work, so it's not too bad, like nipping out for my lunch, getting some lunch, nipping out for my tea, bringing it back here and cooking it, it's not too bad, but it just it is obviously very handy to have a fridge, I ain't got one. So what am I talking to you all about on YouTube today? Well, basically it's another sort of little bit of a check in, I actually have got a couple of nice things which I did get delivered today in the office. Both which I'm pretty well are very near me now, obviously I've got these little guys here. I think I'll probably speak with these guys first since they were actually like just in front of me. Literally a cheap pair of sunglasses. Normally, I mean, I do like my sort of lovely sunglasses, my expensive tasting sunglasses. Um, I've got one really, really nice pair. I've always wanted a really, really nice pair and I actually have a pair of Gucci sunglasses. But I have saw these and I've been after these blue tinted lenses for such a long time. And obviously now the summer has arrived, everyone's wearing sunglasses and it's just like, I get sick of wearing the same ones. So I've got some yellow vintage ones, I've got some sort of like orangey sort of aviator ones and I've got my nice Gucci shades. But just for a bit of a laugh and just for a, like, just a throwaway like sunglasses, I've got these for six pounds, six pounds. Absolutely awesome, and to be honest, they've got an absolutely killer one. Just took a nice little Instagram photo in these, so you've probably, probably already seen it. I'm probably already uploaded it by the time this YouTube comes out, because it's Sunday. Um, recording this, hopefully, because I was like, last week, bit of a nightmare, didn't do one again. So I was like, this week, YouTube, top priority. Uh, hopefully a little Instagram TV there as well. Um, but to be honest, it's not catching on, because I've not really seen that many people do it. But who cares, I want to persist. But yes, sunglasses, these are absolutely awesome. As you can see, they've got a blue lens to them. I got these probably because, I mean, there's a few people I follow on Instagram and they've got them as well and they look absolutely insane. They look super cool. But obviously Johnny Depp has them as well. So that was uh, that was a, that was a factor in, in the purchase of these. But six pounds eBay. Um, I've got a few fingerprints on, so bear with me. But as you can see, they do look, they do look pretty cool. So rocking these, I just thought, why not? It's summer, it's just a little bit different. Obviously, they've got a blue tinted lens to them. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to find the little link I did get them from. Um, I'll stick it in the bottom of this YouTube video. But it's one of those ones where it's six quid. I mean, they're just plastic. I don't know if there's UV protection. I mean, I bought them from the UK, so I imagine with the regulations the UK has, they have got a UV sort of index to the lens, obviously, which they should. Um, obviously, you should always get sunglasses which have a UV, because obviously you need to protect your eyes against the sun but these for just even like a couple of photos you know it's like six quid it's like absolutely spot on so yes purchase these not six pound purchase easy peasy probably feature across my instagram blog quite a lot and i got this which is well it's attached to my belt i don't know whether they attached it to a belt or a leather jacket but it's going to look pretty sick on either and it is this black skull it's basically like a, i want to say like a jean or sort of as i say a jacket tie you can put it on zips but I've got it around my belt loops at the minute it's I don't want to be like that skater boy from like 2009 but this is a very very cool one um, so it's got a lovely sort of black metal sort of it's it's like a flat black metal um, spray on it two seconds you can hear everything in this plan there he is he shut the door so basically it's got this flat black uh, sort of colour to it and I don't know if this will focus but hopefully it will. I probably won't because I've not got the light there but it's just little individual skull like skeleton heads 
all lined up and all linked together um, with two sort of like two clips either side absolutely amazing lovely length not too big not too sort of high absolutely spot on so wearing it around the just the belt ties in my jeans at the minute um, but it looks absolutely sick. Where is it from? Well, since I didn't get anything in the coupon sale at all, I can't fit that now, I'll do it later. Um, I looked on there and they had this as an, asset, uh, they had this as an accessory. Um, so basically it was, I can't believe it, this was £90 when it first came out. The coupons, obviously it still had that label on today when I got it, but it was reduced to 45 I did have store credit, £25, because I uh, complained about a bag I didn't get. and. I could not resist that for 20 quid, 20 quid note, getting that, I absolutely love it, I wear it all the time, I'll stick it on jackets, I'll stick it on jeans, it's just that little finishing touch, what gets that outfit, just that one notch above, just like a normal outfit, when you've got little details like this, it's a, it's a thing I'll probably keep forever, absolutely amazing, the quality's there, um, it's quite a heavy weighty item as well, spot on, so for 20 quid I could not resist, and I have, eventually, it took me a long time, normally I've bought quite a few bits from now, but I've been quite sort of, uh, I've sort of resisted quite a lot this year, basically because I've not got the money, um, but for £20 I could not resist any more, so I had to get that from the coupons sale, and I think, to be honest, it did say one remaining, and that is, to be honest, I think the last one. If it is still on there, I'll link it below and you can have a little look, but to be honest, I think I got the last one. Sorry, it is very cool though. So yes, sunglasses, £6, £20 little uh, belt tie, jacket tie, really, really cool metal object, and that's about it. I'm trying to think what I've been up to. Little check in for you as well. So last weekend, obviously, it was another really, really lovely weekend. Like hot, hot, hot weekend in Manchester. Escaped the city, went to Formby Beach, which is which is just up from Liverpool. And literally, if anyone lives around the Liverpool or if Manchester or sort of like Midland area, Formby Beach is one of the nicest beaches I think I've ever been to in the UK. Absolutely amazing. It's out a nature reserve, but you go down through this forest, and the forest turns to like pine trees very very dusty ground and then you can just see this like white sand and turquoise blue sea and it's so quiet and sort of like certain areas are busy certain areas are very quiet picnic on the beach um, with Chloe which was really really nice and just like literally like really really chilled out day Sunday I had an awesome Sunday lunch to be honest this weekend is going to be a little bit different obviously match the matches on I've been watching the England games not a huge fan of football but when it comes to sort of England or like if, if there's a, the odd Sunderland game I'll go and see and watch with my friends or some, sometimes very rarely go but uh, with the uh, sort of everyone on the it's coming home spirit I have been to see the England matches and to be honest we've been going to been going to Printworks in Manchester which is obviously a rowdy place but it's probably one of the best places for the atmosphere and to watch the football it's been going absolutely off it's been really really good Please, sorry, I'm gonna wait for it. It's gone. It's gone. Uh, so yeah, football. Um, obviously with the lads, 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 which has been really, really good to watch. And obviously England are doing really, really well. Um, but this weekend, hopefully, watch the game again on Saturday, which was yesterday. Hopefully, it is still coming home. Uh, obviously, I've recorded this YouTube. What is it? It's Thursday day. Only, only spare bit of time. So hopefully, when this YouTube comes out, it still is coming home, and we've made it that step further. Um, but yeah, obviously the hype at the minute and just like the last game was absolutely amazing. So that on Saturday, hopefully a nice, I don't know because I drank, I drank quite a lot in the last game. So I might pace myself this game. Sunday I think I'm going to go home because it's my sister's graduation on Monday. So I want to be there for that. Uh, and it's going to be good being back in Newcastle as well. So hopefully a couple of pints after, enjoy the day. And it's a little bit of a cheat day. Back to Manchester on the Tuesday and obviously work the rest of the week. And plans wise, I've... I, nothing much hopefully just doing what i've been doing the past couple of weekends just enjoying the weekend enjoying sort of time at work and stuff like that and going for the odd drink here and there um but yeah nothing nothing major planned um obviously across the blog hopefully there should be a cool post today i felt really really bad i didn't post last weekend like there's not that many times i just don't post all and don't really say anything about it i felt devastated but to be honest it was one of those times where i didn't actually have anything I didn't have i'd not bought anything i didn't have anything to say didn't just want to put a post out there for no reason at all, which doesn't really describe anything. So I was like, right, I just won't do a blog. It felt quite strange, but it was more of a, I didn't really, like that weekend, I just really, really chilled out. So it was nice to have a chill out, but back in the blog game. So I should have a shirt coming from, believe it or not, Misguided. Um, where was the last shirt I got? And it was a girl shirt, that red shirt. Was that Boohoo or was it? It was some other girl brand, but there's another shirt I've spotted. 
Charlie, the guy who I work with, who's in the band Kashmir, I had it on the other day and I was like, Charlie, that shirt is absolutely amazing. It's sick. It's like a python print snake print, but it's quite a light, it's like a viscose -y, uh, looks a little bit like, I'm trying to think it's a little bit transparent, a little bit sort of uh, translucent, the uh, translucent. So we had it on the other day. I went online, it was £11. I was like, right, that's another bargain I just don't think I can miss. Obviously, it's right on my street, it's my style, so hopefully I'll be shooting that. Possibly tomorrow, possibly Saturday, cutting it really, really fine. Um, but then I'm going to write a blog. Hopefully that'll be across tonight. Um, and there'll be links and there'll be little photos you can check out across on my blog. So you can do that. That'll be absolutely awesome if you can come back on and sort of like just see what I have to say across on the old blog. Um, but yeah, checking in on the YouTube, checking in on the blog, probably checking on the old Instagram as well. And just a little bit of a chat, I thought. So thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. If you're not subscribed, Give me a subscribe if you like this video, like the old video, and I'll just check out the links below, check out my blog. Happy to have you along. Cheers, and I'll see you in a bit.